Nina Falk, the actress, left a lasting impression on the film and television industry. One might wonder if there's a particular moment from her works that has stayed with viewers through the years. For many, the first encounter with her talent could have been in a classic film showcasing her versatility and depth. Her ability to bring characters to life with authenticity and emotion has resonated with audiences for decades. What is your most fond memory or personal experience related to Nina Falk? Whether it's a performance that moved you or a personal anecdote about the actress, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we delve into the life and journey of this figure, uncovering interesting facts about her career and personal experiences. Keep watching this video for more insights into the world of Nina Falk. Known for her roles in famous movies, Nina Fosch has a great list of films that people of all ages enjoy. Some of her memorable performances include playing Milo Roberts in An American in Paris and Helena Glabris in Spartacus. If you haven't seen her on screen before, Executive Suite is a good one to start with. In that movie, she played Erica Martin and really impressed the audience. Another one to check out is The Ten Commandments where she portrayed Bethia. These movies not only show how talented she is, but also leave a lasting impression on the history of movies. Nina Fox's performances are crafted well and presented gracefully, which people around the world still appreciate today. Nina Falk, who was once married to Lawrence Lipton's son, appeared in movies alongside Edward G. Robinson, like Illegal and The Ten Commandments. In her career, she showed great talent and versatility, leaving a strong impression on the silver screen. Despite being busy in Hollywood, she also found joy in being a mother. She had a son named Dr. Dirk DeBrito with her second husband, Dennis DeBrito, in 1960, which was an important moment in her personal life. As a mom, she surely put a lot of love and care into raising him, balancing her career with family life. Her influence as an actress and a devoted parent still inspires people today. This short look into her life shows how much she shaped the entertainment world and beyond, touching hearts for generations. A graduate of Stella Adler's studio of acting, she gained attention in the movie Executive Suite, playing Erica Martin. In an interview, she shared the backstory of her character, talking about the special pencil she carried. It was a gift from Bullard with an engraving by Robert Wise. She also mentioned that her last name rhymes with gosh. This story highlights how actors pay attention to small details to make their characters real. Even though viewers might not notice these details, they make the performance more genuine. Knowing the history and personal meaning of props or costumes helps actors perform better, making movies more enjoyable to watch. It shows how much effort actors put into their work. Understanding how movies are made reminds us that every little thing matters. So, the tale of Nina Falk and her pencil, engraved by Robert Wise, is an interesting part of movie history. Nina Falk, an actress known for her strong performances, made a lasting impact with various roles in her time. One notable portrayal was as Bathia in the classic film The Ten Commandments. In this role, she played the adoptive mother of Moses, showing her versatility as an actress. A memorable scene is when she finds baby Moses among the reeds and decides to raise him as her own, saying, this child is from the river. He was sent by the gods. Another significant role was in An American in Paris, where she portrayed the wealthy and sophisticated Milo Roberts. Her character's pursuit of love and art adds depth to the story, and Fox's performance brings an elegant touch to the film. One memorable quote from her character is, you see, I am a supporter of the arts. I even dabble in them myself. Additionally, her portrayal of Madame Bovary in the adaptation of Gustave Flaubert's novel showed her ability to embody characters with depth. Her depiction of Emma Bovary's romantic ideals and eventual disappointment was both engaging and moving. A memorable scene is when Emma confesses, I have a lover, a lover who means everything to me. In summary, Nina Fox roles in The Ten Commandments, An American in Paris, and Madame Bovary are among her most memorable, each showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Through these performances, she left a strong impression on the world of cinema. In the movie Scaramouch, she wore the same dress as Norma Shearer did in Marie Antoinette, showing respect for old movies. People loved how she looked in that gown. Later, in The Ten Commandments, she changed her eye color with special contacts to make her acting more real. Even small changes like this showed how serious she was about her work. In Spartacus, she worked hard to understand her character, asking the director for help. He told her to focus on the simple things. 
Nina Foch was a famous actress who did many great roles in movies. Even though people might forget her name, her performances will always be remembered by fans all over the world. And the Ten Commandments, she portrayed Bethia alongside Charlton Heston and John Derrick. Interestingly, Paramount Pictures had only a few contract players during filming. Most studios had abandoned such contracts by 1954 due to industry changes and TV competition. The film's stars like Ann Baxter and Vincent Price were from different studios. She received a special award from the Maryland State Council of the American Jewish Congress for her performance in the film. It was a notable recognition for her role as Bethia. In An American in Paris, she played Milo Roberts. During filming, she contracted chickenpox. Despite this setback, she returned to work promptly. However, covering her pockmarks required a whole team of makeup artists. Her roles in these films showcased her versatility and dedication to her craft. She navigated challenges with professionalism, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. In An American in Paris, Nina Foss played Milo Roberts. Originally, Vincent Minnelli considered Morris Chevalier for a role, but he wasn't interested. He preferred leading roles and hadn't been in America for years due to questions about his wartime politics. Instead, Minnelli chose Nina Foch for the part, despite initially leaning towards Celeste Holm. In The Ten Commandments, Nina Foch portrayed Bethia, despite being younger than her on-screen son, Charlton Heston. Several actresses were considered for the role, including Claudette Colbert and Betty Davis. Jane Meadows was initially chosen but declined, leading Cecil B. Demel to cast Nina Falk, suggested by Henry Wilcoxon. Nina Falk's versatility and talent shone through in these roles, capturing the attention of directors and audiences alike. In The Ten Commandments, Nina Falk portrayed Bethia. The film featured several esteemed actors. Anne Baxter won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar in 1947 and received a Best Actress nomination in 1951. Martha Scott was a nominee for Best Actress in 1941, and Dame Judith Anderson earned a Best Supporting Actress nomination the same year. Post the movie's release, Yul Brenner, Charlton Heston, and Edward G. Robinson won Oscars. In total, the cast comprised four Oscar winners and three nominees. Among them were Charlton Heston, Yul Brenner, Ann Baxter, Judith Anderson, Robert Vaughn, Martha Scott, and H.B. Warner. Nina and her spouse James Lipton formed a lasting friendship with Diana Ross after acting alongside her in Mahogany. In a 1988 interview about the movie My Name is Julia Ross, Nina Foch jokingly commented on the amusing idea of Dame, May Whitty being George Macready's mother. She played Julia Ross in the film and shared funny insights into the characters. She also helped director Peter Horton as a consultant for the same movie. Although not officially credited, she worked behind the scenes as an acting coach, using her skills to improve the project. In the pilot episode of TV movie Prescription Murder, she played a significant role as the first victim investigated by TV detective Lieutenant Columbo. This showed her versatility in the detective genre. Nina Falk, known for her successful career and valuable contributions to entertainment, smoothly shifted between acting and coaching, leaving a lasting impact. Her involvement in various projects showcased her interesting abilities, making her respected in both film and television. In a 1999 interview for TCM, she talked about the making of Johnny O'Clock. She mentioned that Robert Rawson didn't direct the movie, but she didn't say who did. In another interview with TCM, she said she wasn't happy with her part in Executive Suite at first, but then she was surprised when she got an Oscar nomination for it. During a screening of Sombrero, Cecil B. Demel, a famous director, saw her in the cast. He said, that's the face I've been looking for, because he thought she'd be good for a role in the Ten Commandments. It shows how influential she was in Hollywood. Nina Foch didn't always have the spotlight, but she made a big difference behind the scenes in Hollywood. In Italy, most of her films were dubbed by Rosetta Calavetta. However, she was also dubbed by Lydia Simonski and My Name is Julia Ross. Rena Morley in The Ten Commandments, and Giovanna Scotto. Despite portraying Charlton Heston's adoptive mother, Yul Brenner's aunt, and Cedric Hardwick's sister in The Ten Commandments, she was actually younger than Heston by a year, Brenner by four years, and Hardwick by 31 years. As Bethia in The Ten Commandments, she was among the 12 credited cast members who received stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. This included Charlton Heston, Yul Brenner, Ann Baxter, Edward G. Robinson, Yvonne DiCarlo, Cedric Hardwick, Nina Falk, Vincent Price, John Carradine, Henry Wilcoxon, H.B. 
Warner, and Julia Fay. She graduated from acting school in the early 1940s and began her journey in entertainment. She got a big role in the movie, The Ten Commandments, which made her famous. She acted alongside other famous actors like Yvonne DiCarlo and Charlton Heston. She passed away at 84, which was sad because it happened around the same time as other famous actors. Turner Classic Movies honored her by showing her movies all day in August 2020. People still love her work even though she's not alive anymore. People will always remember her because she was a great actress. Her movies are timeless and will never be forgotten.